is Jake Paul good for boxing? Right off the bat, Jake Paul is about as organic or grassroots or real as Kanye West, right? Um, I would have thought that Kanye West, um, him throwing his hat in the ring of, uh, well, you know what, right? The anti-ism. I thought that would have woken up some of the right-wing wokes to the fact that that whole thing is just a psyop, right? And this anti-ism is necessary for certain groups basically need it to profit off of it and to um, get support for their agenda, essentially. I mean, you know, that is how the state of Israel was formed, right? It was the anti-ism in Russia, USSR, and it was the anti-ism in, in Germany that led to the creation of the state of Israel, right? So Jake Paul is about as real, grassroots, organic as Kanye West is, right? Uh, they do what they're told. Uh, they're part of the team. And they're just shills for the establishment, okay? Now that we got that out of the way, is Jake Paul good for boxing? You know, whenever we talk about or people debate, right, argue about what's good for boxing or anything, really, they almost never define what they mean by terms, phrases, right? No one ever defines what they mean by boxing. They never define what it means to be good for boxing, right? It's just assumed by the people arguing that they agree on what it is that's good or bad for boxing, what all of that means, and then they more often than not, not end up talking past each other, right? How oh, fucking sad. I mean, so sad. So... One of the ways in which people, I, I think the predominant way in which people define good for boxing, and this is just taken from the context because they don't actually define it, is, well, he brings money to the sport, right? Attention, fans, he makes boxing more popular. Uh, on what grounds, right, is, what's the justification for boxing being more popular, right, to boxing being good. Where Where's that connection, right? Does it matter who the fans are? Does it? What if it's, what if it's a bunch of 12-year-old girls that are into boxing? Is that good for boxing? What do you mean by boxing, right? In my view, in, in the way that I define boxing, right, what I would like boxing to be, and you should know this if you've watched more than a handful of my videos, is that in the perfect world, right? And I'm not a utopianist, so don't get that twisted. Boxing would be a competition. It would be a sport, right? Where we get to find out who the best is, right? And it would seem that that's what most people want because everyone's always making lists of who the best fighters today, pound for pound, of all time are, right? They're always arguing about who's better than who and blah, 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 right? So it would seem that you actually want boxing to be a sport and, and a competition. But then at the same time, when it really comes down to it, uh, people don't really complain about cheating, corruption. They do when it suits them, but not all the way across the board. So... Uh, that's incoherent, right? They don't actually want boxing to be a sport. They don't actually want boxing to have rules. Uh, they want uh, the guys that they don't like, they don't support, to have to follow the rules. And the guys that they are in love with, they don't want them to have to adhere to any kind of rules, right? So they're absolutely incoherent. And the fans of boxing are the first and foremost reason why boxing looks the way it does, right? Because they pay for this shit. They support it. So I, let me ask you again, you know, is more money being spent on boxing by the greatest amount of people 
is that just good for boxing? Doesn't matter who these fans are, what they want from boxing, right? What if it's just a bunch of Ryan Garcia kind of fans? You know what I mean? People who don't know anything about the sport, they just want to see personalities, Disney characters, cartoons. They just want to see them win by any means necessary. Is that still boxing? No, it's not boxing anymore, right? That's some sort of a spectacle vaguely resembling what used to be the sport of boxing, right? So in my view, the way I would like boxing to be, right? And it would seem if all these motherfuckers out there weren't as incoherent as they are, right? If, if I am to pull their whole card and hold them to their word, right? If legacies are to be discussed and and compared to one another, if we are to be able to make statements such as this or that guy is GOAT, right? This is the best fighter today of all time. This guy's better than that guy, yada, 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 right? The boxing has to be a sport, a legitimate sport where fair play is enforced. There's as little corrupt, there's always going to be corruption, don't get me wrong, as little corruption as possible, and the rules are enforced fairly all across the board. If, if you don't have that, then you don't have a sport. Then you can't talk about who the best is. It's fucking incoherent, absolutely incoherent, because uh, these so-called fighters, they don't even, a lot of them don't even compete in the same sport, <laughs> right? If the rules are different, I hope this makes sense. It should, and I know the people that, have watched me for a while get this they should anyway so if we define boxing as that and first foremost first and foremost it's it being a sport um then no jake paul is bad for boxing right why do you why do you need boxing to be so popular in order to be a sport you don't need that there's a ton of sports out there that aren't very popular at all Right when you look at let's say uh, mountain biking, or maybe more specifically like slope style, right, or free ride, or something of that sort, those sports aren't very popular. And there's you know there's some corruption. Don't get me wrong, but very little corruption. And and that's more of a sport than boxing, right? And even though there are robberies or bad decisions, things of that nature. Fans almost unanimously basically agree who, who the best is, right? There's like, there are these elite guys and, and and we know who they are. There's no argument, right? Whether this or that guy is actually number one or if he's just he just gets all the breaks. Like, there's no debate that Emil Johansson is the best slope style rider today, right? For example, like everyone knows this. He's just the best, period. Nobody argues that. It's impossible to argue it because that's a real sport or as real as a sport can be. And a big reason why is because there isn't as much money. Uh, there aren't as many big corporations having as big of a stake in that sport because there aren't that many fans. There isn't that much money to be made. And that makes it more of a sport. A better sport, right? So if you define, it would seem, if you define boxing as a sport and you want to be able to talk, rate fighters and talk about who the best is, be able to come to some kind of an agreement, you don't want boxing to be very popular, right? You don't want that. But that's first and foremost what, um, at least here online, what the so-called boxing fans want, right? Because especially when it comes to content creators, where well, they get to make more money, right? The more popular it is. So what they, seems to me anyway, what they call good for boxing is what's good for their pocket, right? Controversy, corruption, uh, high levels of estrogen, lots of emotionality, people bickering, arguing, no consensus, no agreement, right? Chaos. That's just how you make money, right? So, no, Jake Paul isn't good for boxing. The way I define boxing is because he brings all of that to the sport. Now, I don't blame him for creating it because the only reason why he's able to exist in the 
capacity that he exists in, in the sport of boxing is because boxing is already a wounded motherfucking animal. Boxing isn't really a sport anymore. That's why non-competitors like Jay Paul get to come into the quote-unquote sport and be like a cash cow, right? Maybe even the highest grossing, if not yet, sometime soon, for the amount of fights that he's had, right? In relative terms, he's, he's the highest grossing, earning, best earning boxer of all time, right? What other boxer made this, made this kind of money in what, four or five or six professional fights? Got to fight all these names. What other boxer, right? And this is another problem with why this is, this sort of an attitude is bad for boxing because you have guys that are so much better skilled than Jake Paul, right? Have done, have put in so much more work and hone their craft where they're levels and levels and levels above the guy, but they don't make a tenth of what he makes, right? So how is Jake Paul good for boxing? Right? He is he is a symptom of the disease, as um, Blue Collar Sports likes to say. He is the symptom of the disease that's plagued boxing for a long, long time, right? But he, he also is the cancer, and he's spreading, right? So, like, he didn't start the shit. He came into it, but he's definitely helping it spread and making it worse. That's that's what I would say. I am saying that. So, you know, just, just look at his latest fight with, with Silva, right? He lost every single round except for when he knocked Silva down, and the judges gave it to him wide, right? And all of that after he was quote-unquote, calling um, Eddie Hearn out for, quote-unquote, fixing fights, right? When he never did that, actually. And that whole, you know what that whole, quote-unquote, lawsuit is? That is a shot being fired at people like myself, right? Anyone out there who basically wants to question the legitimacy of Eddie Hearn's operation and Jake Paul's operation, they got together, in my opinion, and decided to drum up this fake-ass lawsuit in order to scare, right, content creators, uh, you know, such as, look at Hatman, like, when, when he talks about boxing. It's all, allegedly, it's, it's I'm not accusing anybody of anything. Like, he, that guy is so paranoid of getting sued, right? For example, right, there's other guys like him that are, that are paranoid of getting sued by these boxing promoters or someone in the boxing world for saying the wrong thing, right? "Quote unquote," the wrong thing. So all that that "quote unquote" lawsuit is about. And I'm not saying that the, you know, the paperwork wasn't submitted or whatever. Maybe it was, you know. But all that that is is just a psyop by Eddie Hearn and Jake Paul to accept the fakery and not call it out, right? Because look, if you talk about it like Jake Paul, you're gonna have a hundred million dollar lawsuit on you. <laughs> <laughs> so Jake Paul uh you know he uh, when he fights bums you know or guys that aren't maybe they look like bums or they aren't that good whatever like he may fool enough people to think that he's got some skill and he's got there's some natural ability there and you know I stated in the past that he has like a fighter's mentality kind of but it, it's it's so hard to know really if it's if it really is a, this natural um, aptitude and fighter's mentality or if it's well understood that his opponent ain't coming to win right that's agreed beforehand and he just that's where he gains his confidence from because he knows these guys ain't trying to take his head off but when Anderson Silva tried a little bit, even though he was pulling his punches and just, I don't know. I don't know if it was just age or whatever, right? But that wasn't a very, very, very good version of Silva that didn't seem all that committed to whooping Jake Paul's ass. But, but you know, when where he pushed him a little bit, Jake Paul looked like a deer in the headlights. He looked scared. He All of a sudden, that natural fighter's mentality wasn't quite there. So, I mean, you know... There's nothing real or, or natural or organic about Jake Paul. He's a Disney creation. He's a fucking cartoon. Okay? That's what he is. And in the grand scheme of things, if we are to talk about, you know, rating fighters and 
and uh, the best fighters today, best fighters of all time. He ain't, he ain't shit, right? Everybody in their mama, right? If he wasn't Jake Paul and he was fighting uh, Usyk, let's say, everybody in their mama would call him a bum and criticize Usyk for fighting this guy. And Usyk would stop him in, you know, 30 seconds probably. That's just that's the just gap between someone like Jake Paul and Usyk, even though Jake Paul probably makes more money than Usyk, right? Per fight, definitely. Usyk just recently got to that sort of level. I don't know. I don't, I don't fucking know what he makes, you know what I mean? But I could imagine it's a lot of money. So, you know, the, the corruption is clearly there with Jake Paul. I mean, he got his ass whooped by Silva, and, and he won wide that fight, right? A lot of you have questioned if his fights are real, and in my opinion, they're not very real. None of them are, in my opinion, 100% real fights that aren't rigged to some degree, right? Whether it's simply because he gets to roy the fuck up and his opponent is drug drained, right? Silva, who's uh, shown himself, outed himself basically for, what was it, HGH or something like that in his uh, kitchen cabinet. You know what I mean? So maybe, maybe it was just that, right? When it came to someone like Silva. But, but some of these, his fights ain't real. They're not all the way real. He's not, it's not a sport, what he does, right? It's entertainment. It's it's a show. It's, it's, it's a Disney cartoon, essentially, what Jake Paul is, right? And um, he's also bad for boxing because he supports female boxing right i already talked about why that's that's not bad for boxing just bad that's just wrong period i already explained why that is shout out to all the fake conservatives uh supporting women boxing calling themselves conservatives and traditionalists and supporting women's boxing talk about incoherence i mean fucking hell anyway um yeah and and the whole shtick I'm going to tell you what it is, right? This is the continuation uh, with, uh, you know, slight differences. Hey, by the way, looking at this picture, anyone think that maybe, maybe Jake Paul is an illegitimate son of Jay Leno? I'm just saying. I'm I'm just saying, you know, kind of fucking around, kind of not, right? I mean, look at him. Right? Look at him. The resemblance is uncanny. Anyway, um, the shtick is this, right? Now, I don't follow Jake Paul, so I don't know what he does, what he says, really. I'm, I'm not really into any of that. But what I do see from the fans' perspective, from, from the site that I'm on, is there's a lot of animosity toward this guy, whether it be from MMA fans, because, you know, he's cherry-picking all these old guys and... And the fights don't look real to a lot of these guys. And then, you know, Anderson Silva whoops his ass and he doesn't get the decision, right? Uh, whether it's Jake Paul doing this consciously, whether he's out there talking trash to also um, create that sort of an environment. I don't know because I don't follow him. But what I do see is that whether he or people around him, however it, it's been brought about or produced, right? Jake Paul has definitely antagonized a lot of people, right? And it's a very savvy business move. I mean, it's not that fucking savvy. It's just that people are fucking simpletons and they don't get it and they're overly emotional and estrogen riddled and yada, yada, yada. So it's not really that savvy, but it's but it's a scheme, right? It's a scheme that the simpletons out there just allow themselves to be part of within without noticing what it is and how they're being played, right? So what he does is... Jake Paul, he antagonizes enough people, which makes them get into their feelings and bet against them, right? And so long as he antagonizes enough people to bet against them, right, Vegas is going to keep on winning, just as they did Floyd Mayweather. It was really blatant with Mayweather. He would just antagonize uh, the Mexican boxing fans and, and his opponents, his opponents, fan bases, and just people in general, so that people would lay enough money against them, 
And Vegas had to keep Floyd winning because if Floyd lost, right, if some of these decisions that shouldn't have gone his way, gone the other way, right, Vegas would, would have lost their ass because Floyd Mayweather made sure there was enough money being put on the opponent, right? A ton of money. So, so long as Jake Paul is able to do the same thing, right, antagonize enough people to bet against them, they're going to keep him winning by any means necessary, right? And then one day... And this day may never happen, but probably will. One day, when you least expect it, right, he's going to lose a fight that he's not supposed to lose because enough money will have been put. People will wake up just as they did with Canelo, and they realize that by hook or by crook, there's no way you can beat Canelo. And they'll, so much money will pour in on Jake Paul and not the opponent, same as with the same as when it came to Canelo and Bevo, right? Why did Bevo get 2 million and Plant got 10? Why? Right? No one knew Bevo. No one put much money on him because A, he wasn't going to win and B, no one knew who he was, right? He didn't have enough of a fan base to bet him up, right? So they paid him less and allowed him to win. Anyway, yeah, once they're... The scales basically shift in the other direction where there's so much money on Jake Paul and not, not enough on the opponent where Vegas can't just get over. That's when Paul will lose. Right? And he'll... He's, he's a gift that just keeps on giving to to the betting industry, right? I mean, just, just look at what he promotes. Just like Mayweather, he's always on social media talking about betting, making bets, right? He's got all these betting um, contracts with uh, with bookies, promotes them on, on his shorts, on, on the ring ropes. It, it's all over the damn place, right? That's what this is about. This is uh, just part of this ongoing, and been going on for a very, very long time, um, wealth transfer from the stupid fucking simpletons who are meant to be kept poor and powerless to those in power who the puppeteers who are pulling the strings and manipulating the dumb fuck masses. It is what it is, man. And Jake Paul is, he's not just bad for boxing. He's downright motherfucking evil. Duh. Thanks for watching.